Ethan, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. We can see that smile on your face. How pleased are you to be here? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm just can't wait to get started, really. Um, got some games to win, so can't wait. How have the last few days been for you? Because it obviously must have been quite a quick turnaround, obviously leaving Swansea, coming down here now. Yeah, um, chaotic. Um, but I mean, that's part of football. I think you just, just got to get your head around it, really, and um, just focus on what you need to focus on, which is now Bournemouth. You're here now. What are your first impressions of the place, having had a little walk around? Oh, yeah, it's obviously, I think we all know, it's Premier League standards. Um, you know, the facility is brilliant. Um, I'm enjoying the people here. I've already got to speak to a few of them. Um, I know a couple of them as well, so nice. It's, it's just looking promising. <laughs> you mentioned, you know, a couple of the Morgan Rogers from England, Jamal Lay from Swansea. Did you speak to them much before you came here? Yeah, little, little snippets every now and then, obviously, because everything was just a quick turnaround. Um, obviously, we haven't really... Um, a chance to like really talk talk but obviously yeah we'll get to do that eventually so have you had a chance to to speak to the manager much at all yet yeah um i spoke to gaffer a few times i spoke to him today as well just a quick catch up um but yeah just really just saying how we can't wait to get started now you've been at manchester united since the age of 10 you must have had a, you know a really good foundation for your footballing career and some really big influences as well there yeah wow um I could say so many names, um, so many people who have just helped me from even the caretakers to the, the coaching staff. Um, it, it plays a big big part in my heart of Man United and it always will do. Um, and that's where I want to be when I'm, when I'm hopefully um, to a good enough level uh, to, be, to be called and used. Um, but yeah, um, obviously Manchester United are a big part, a big part of me and I can't wait to be there soon. But obviously now is the next step for the journey um, and i got to got to win games with Bournemouth and enjoy myself here. Now you've had loan spells at MK Dons, you've had loan spells at Swansea as well. How much has that experience helped you and, and helped prepare you for the next challenge here? Yeah, I mean, um, I, I always say to my dad, um, he says to me how, how we need to overcome every challenge that comes. Um, everything's building blocks, I believe. Um, just just completing one building block and then onto the other and just building a strong, strong foundation. and. You know, MK Dons was a great experience, got me got me playing professional football because that was the first for me. Swansea, upper level again. Um, thank everyone there. I uh, really developed there and now it's the, the next step. Now, one thing you will have taken from your time at Swansea is playing in the Championship, that experience there. What do you make of the league and, and the challenges that it has? Yeah, I mean, I, I was in league on with MK Dons and I've, I've said this before, how the physicality is, is just completely different. I mean, I feel like you come against more, um, you can say, bigger players in League One, but in in Championship, it's big players with speed, with with te technical abilities. Um, it's just a lot sharper, and it's just getting used to that. And uh, I think I'm adapting well, um, and it's just the next step now. Now you did play here in November's game. What are your memories of of that game, the place, the atmosphere, the team? Um, yeah, I mean, I, obviously Bournemouth for a good team, um, you know, I, I enjoy playing here. Um, I think, to be honest, when I was playing, I'm just focused on playing, um, you know, who, who I'm up against. I want to do as much as I can to, to disrupt their game. Um, and so, yeah, I didn't really take much of it in because I was just focusing on football. Uh, but that's just the way I am as a player. Now, for those supporters who might not have seen you play before, how would you describe your style of play? Um, Explosive. Uh, I'm quick, so there's there's a lot of times where you think, oh, he's not going to get there, but he gets there. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm an, an exciting player, but I, I hope to show them myself. So beforehand, you played right back, you played right wing back. I think I'm right in thinking you played centre back on occasion as well. You're quite a versatile player. Do you have a preferred position, or is it something you're kind of quite happy yeah, to I, play I, wherever the manager? Wants you. Yeah, I've, I've said this before. I, of course, I feel like I'm more of use on the right flank <laughs> um, because I get to, you know, be up and down. And I think that's the makeup of my game. Um, but, you know, wherever I'm needed, um, I'm there kind of thing. So, yeah, that's where the versatility comes from, I guess, because I'm not afraid to play any position. But, um, yeah, whatever the gaffe needs, I'm there. We play quite a, an attacking style of football, a possession-based football. That for you must be really exciting as a, a young player. Yeah, I mean, attacking gets people off their feet, really. And that's, I'm just blessed that I, I get enjoyment of doing that. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I'm OK at it as well. 
Um, so yeah, attacking obviously is, is a big part of the game, but also defending is. So this is why I'm here um, to learn both aspects and you know just develop myself as a player. Our next game, all being well, will be Yeovil in the FA Cup. For you, having a week ahead of that game, will that be the perfect preparation to hopefully you know take a, stake your claim in the team? <laughs> Um, hard to say right now, obviously we'll see um, the gaffer, uh, you just got to believe in his, in his process, whether it's yoga, whether it's the next or the game after that, um, it's just, I, I know I'm going to be ready whenever he calls me, so. Just finally, what are your goals and ambitions? What do you want to achieve for the, the second half of the season here at Bournemouth? I think the, there's a, a big one that everyone uh, wants to get to and obviously that's, we want to be in the Premier League. Um, uh, I just hope I can help with that, obviously that's an ambition of mine as well, I want to help push this team as far as I can um into promotion which would be brilliant uh, me i just want to develop as a player i've said this everywhere i've gone i just want to develop um learn as much as i can and being here i think is a is a good step for me to learn more and um i can't wait to get started oh, yeah. Yeah, bow, 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 bow. <laughs>